When the train arrives in LB, it's like stepping back in time. The Poulsen 70 steam locomotive on the Mount Rainier Scenic Railroad is a century old. Passengers board a vintage Pullman car, then feel all the movements as the trip begins. It's exciting. It's, it was on my sister-in-law's bucket list. She's visiting from Indiana. We are train nuts and this is one of our favorites. The Wardman family is excited to see the railroad running again after a closure that began during COVID. We went on it in last October, right after they reopened. The out-of-state company that owned the railroad shut it down. So a group of former employees and local businesses formed a nonprofit called Western Forest Industries Museum. They started with a rail cycle program where visitors can pedal the tracks. Train trips resumed in September 2023 and immediately sold out. So we were running three trains a day and we sort of kept saying, OK, people are excited. It's back. But when's it going to slow down? and it really hasn't. Executive Director Beth and Marr says they sold 75,000 tickets in 2024. The railroad offers scenic trips between Elby and Mineral and special events like holiday excursions. It's really exciting to see the energy and the support. That support includes the Port of Tacoma. Motion carries five to nothing. In May 2024, commissioners approved a $50,000 economic development investment so train rides can expand five and a half miles from LB to New Reliance. That puts the railroad closer to its goal of running trains all the way to Eatonville. Our goal is almost to decentralize the railroad so that we have departures at different points along the way. The port's contribution pays for removing worn-out railroad ties and replacing them with new ones. And we turned around and called our tie supplier the next day and said, we need a thousand ties delivered. And they thought that we had um, had a typo uh, and <laughs> thought we wanted a few hundred. And we said, no, we need a thousand. We're putting them all in. Some of them come out nice and easy and some of them are take a while. <laughs> Brian Wise leads the staff members and volunteers restoring the track, which was built in 1943. Railroad should always be growing, you know? If otherwise, if it just gets stale, and there's got to be something new all the time to keep people coming. The new extension should be ready in 2025. Mount Rainier Scenic Railroad is also planning to reopen the museum in Mineral and rebuild this mothballed steam engine. It's a historic asset and infrastructure that's there um, that really sort of drove the economic legacy of the area. And we're trying to do that again, just in a sort of different flavor. It's all about growing sustainably, making sure this link to the past is preserved for the future.